on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from What Up I Won the Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, morning. guys. Good morning. Okay, so uh, this is a, a comedy duo, a collab that I have been waiting a long time for. <laughs> Two of my favorite funny people, Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds, uh, have a new movie coming out, and we're getting our first look at it now. Yes, they dropped the full trailer yesterday. It's coming to theaters on November 11th, and then it comes to Apple Plus on November 18th, so just a week later. And it is their modern day take on A Christmas Carol, which normally I hate. I don't like that out of all the stories, but this one looks so good. It's called Spirited, and it starts off with a dance scene between the two of them, which how can you not love that? And I, I've just never been more excited. And it also stars Octavia Spencer. I love it. Yeah, this this seems like a, kind of a new take on on a Christmas Carol. Yeah, just is, a, a, com a comedic take on the whole thing. I know it's been done a lot, but I think these two guys will will do it justice. Yeah, and I know you're a huge Will Ferrell fan, Emily, mm -hmm. so I'm so glad you're with me because Mike will probably talk trash about him in just a second. But I love this because I saw an interview with Ryan Reynolds. It was probably like a year ago, and he talked about how hard it was working with Will Ferrell because that's one of his idols, mm -hmm. and that they would literally be in the middle of shooting a scene, and he would just be like, oh my gosh, I'm talking to Will Ferrell right now. And he'd have to like shake himself back into character. That's oh pretty gosh. funny. That, I mean, I can see that. That would make sense. He's right? been around for so long. And just for clarification purposes, I'm not going to talk trash about Will Ferrell right here, but I will say that all the Will Ferrell movies I prefer is when he's not the leading role in the movie. Like if he's the secondary guy. Like, like what? Uh, old school. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Okay. What about Elf? <laughs> well, good. I, I, Elf I'm is just going to go out there one. and I have, uh, I have high hopes for this. Right? Mm. I mean, Elf is one of my favorite holiday movies. Ah, yeah. Uh, that's of all time. I, I love I love Will Ferrell and Elf. Um, Anchorman goes without saying. Uh, yeah, yeah so, so many good ones. I he, I will say he's he he had, did some real great movies right after he left SNL, and then there were a couple that maybe yeah. There I mean there were some duds. Not I'm everything. I'm not saying can be that all run. of his yeah. work is Sherlock fantastic. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yeah, that one was. Yeah, right. no he had a, he had a couple that. that got a little silly that I wasn't a huge fan of, but I do I do think this one's gonna be good, and I just I think like I said it's like Ryan Reynolds. He's so funny, and, and Will yeah. Ferrell, I think he's hilarious. I love that they're doing this together. Yeah, me too. I think that'll be And fun. I love that it's coming to a streaming service a week after it comes to the theater, because you know yes. me. I don't like that I judgment in the streaming. theater. I will be streaming, yes. I want a rotisserie chicken in my lap that I can eat without judgment. I want to just pick the carcass up and go while I watch. I'm going to sit there with a plate of, you know, whatever holiday leftovers I've got at the time. And, and you're just going to enjoy it. Rewatch it. Absolutely. Yeah, so spirited. Keep an eye out for that one. In uh, some other movie news, Brendan Fraser, he's kind of had this little resurgence a as of A late. renaissance, a as renaissance we called as, it. Oh, I didn't know we were calling it that. Uh, yeah. What, what's his situation now? We're, we're talking about his comeback here. Yeah, he got a standing ovation again. So they have, a, he has a new movie, it's called Whale. And so they've shown it at a few film festivals and at the London Film Festival, they most recently showed it. And after it was done, five minutes standing ovation. So this movie has got to be really good. It's about a 600 pound man who is reclusive, who doesn't leave his house. And so now Brendan Fraser is out promoting the movie, doing all these interviews. And it's really great to see him because, you know, he kind of did disappear there for a while. And when he's asked about his comeback, he gets kind of awkward and he's like, well, I mean, I didn't go that far away. I was still here. I just, you know, wasn't doing too much. I mean, Aww. that's so like, is he admitting that some of uh, like some of his movies were kind of flops like, you know, I mean, I haven't seen anything where he admitted that, but I did like the shade that he threw at Tom Cruise. He was doing an interview with Variety and they asked him if he would do another one of the mummy movies. And he said only if the script was good, because the one in 2017, which starred Tom Cruise, he said it just wasn't fun. It was just scary. So if you can't make the script fun, it won't work. Mm. Interesting. I didn't see the Tom Cruise one. I didn't so. either. I didn't even know. No one did. I didn't even did. know there was a Tom Cruise one. <laughs> so but I do remember Brendan Fraser in The Mummy, and I liked that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and The Mummy series is also where The Rock got his first big break in a major film role, too, in The Scorpion King. So, yeah. you know, if we can bring Brendan Fraser back to The Mummies, maybe we can bring The Rock back to The Mummies and have, like, an all-time blockbuster. Now we are talking. I think, and then I think it could we're going to have a movie there. with Brendan Fraser, The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, and Will oh Ferrell. Oh, my gosh. And uh, we'll stop. We'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> right. And it'll be about Halloween. Or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.
Bye, friends. Take care, Bye. guys. See you later. Don't forget, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.